Good evening, I'm Scott Hennessy. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. People are getting an update tonight on efforts to improve safety along the Isla Vista cliffs. The county, along with Supervisor Laura Capps, is updating students and residents at the Isla Vista Community Center tonight. Tracy Lair is there live and joins us with more. Tracy, recent storms led to the collapse of a balcony. They sure did, and uh, people from Santa Barbara County are putting slides on the wall during this town hall is what they're calling it. They're showing slides of the erosion in some places that have been red tagged and other places they're concerned about. Much of this is private property, but the cliffs and bluffs also go along the parks where students are often uh, walking uh, during all times of year. And as many people know, people are still mourning the death of a student from last year. Here's what Laura Capps had to say. 13 deaths along the Isla Vista Bluffs is 13 too many. We're trying to do what we can to prevent it. With, with coastal erosion, uh, it's become even more of a dangerous place for thousands of young people to hang out. And so we, we have uh, some common sense solutions we can put in place, and that's what we're discussing tonight because the, con the community really cares about Isla Vista, beyond Isla Vista community. So that's what we're here for. Now, people are going to be able to ask questions about what's going on. I know they already know they have improved lighting. They've also added some bathrooms and they've talked about the ability to raise the fencing. But the erosion is a whole other deal because so much of it is on private property in housing that where students live. So we're going to be uh, tuning into this town hall and bring you the latest tonight on the news. Reporting live in Isla Vista, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.